Air life. Water life. I come from the source of where this pipeline will ultimately further develop an already destroyed land. Currently, industry has completely desecrated an area the size of a country. England and Switzerland, in 20 years, the Saharan Desert in northern Alberta, what was once the pristine northern boreal forest, if this pipeline goes through, your government will further assist in the raping and pillaging of the lands of my ancestors. Whilst deliberately ignoring the basic human rights to clean air and water and our inherent constitutionally protected rights. I abide by natural law and there's nothing natural about a people dying from cancer. Fish with cat with cancers hanging off of them. Moose with pus bubbles under the skin. Babies being airlifted to the hospital for drinking contaminated water. And that's the truth. <laughs> Communities like my sister Melina Lubacan, who's from the Lubacan Cree, which is located in one of the three tar sands deposits, they experienced a massive oil spill. Bigger than the Kalamazoo in Michigan. And this is what our future looks like. The law is being broken every single day as more and more permits to industry are granted within my nation's traditional hunting territory. To date, over 19,000 permits granted with the promise our government along with industry will push through expansion. A projected 10 times which ultimately will be the size of Florida when they're done. Then they'll promise to give us back what was never theirs in the first place. Don't be fooled by their ideology of what reclamation is. Reclamation is me standing here with the 99%. What? person of Turtle Island. We're here today to say we never went anywhere and nor do we plan to. I'm here to share with you what true and honest leaders say. When disaster strikes, it's not going to know race, color, or creed. I'm here to tell you that when that happens, the greed is going to see that we cannot eat money and we cannot drink oil. We all bleed the same color. I stand here far away from home and my children to tell you that there has been hostages taken in this game they play of environmental roulette. We are the economic hostages pacifying ourselves with money. We have an obligation to our one true mother. If we take care of her, she'll take care of us. Providing and nurturing. But when we ignore that and choose greed and wealth, an economy that is not stable, she will fight back. We cannot ignore that our mother has stirred the thunder and water beings along these pipeline routes. Our environment is speaking to us. We must wake up. We are human, not the creator. In solidarity, all my relations. I'm grateful to each and every one of you because you give me the strength to keep on keeping on. Fighting the good fight.